everybody, it's Lee again with Line Facts For You. I want to talk to you guys about something you've seen online recently. Take uh, three grapefruits and three lemons and cook them down in a pot and you're going to get hydroxychloroquine. That's not true because hydroxychloroquine is a man-made chemical that has an extra, extra oxygen hydrogen group at the end of its tail that helps it to be not as poisonous as the traditional chloroquine which was produced after they used quinine, uh, made from the tree bark of a tree, chinkoa tree or something like that, uh, they found uh, down in the south. So the difference is gonna be, this is not how you make hydroxychloroquine, but is there some quinine in there? Yes, there is, it's a small amount, and maybe it's enough that you could actually use it for treatment for some of the viral things, so what we're going to look at is it's antiviral, that's great, but there also are a few other things found in uh, citrus peels you're not going to find anywhere else easily. We have a lot of access to it here in America because of all of the citrus we grow in California and Florida, there's a lot of byproduct and the byproduct of that waste is the peel. Most people aren't using it, so there are some really cool things you can do. So just like you've seen in another video, the tonic water that you can make from it is has a whole bunch of other health benefits. It's not just, it's not hydroxychloroquine, but it is gonna help boost your immune system, and that's what's good about it. It tastes disgusting, so add a little bit of honey and warm it up, and that's how it's gonna taste a little bit better. But that's one of the things that you can do to extract it. Here's how we do it. Cut your grapefruit, take out the fruit, put everything into a pan. You can do the three and three, it's no big deal. Three grapefruit, three lemon, doesn't matter how many you use. That actually fits in a pan pretty well, like a nice little five quart saucepan, so that's a great way to do it. Do the three and three. Take out your peels, put them in the pan, cover them in water, bring it to a boil. Do not remove the lid, because it's, it's said that it's gonna be volatized, that the oils that you're looking for are gonna be volatized into the steam. We wanna keep those in there, so bring it to a boil, and then let it sit. I let mine sit overnight, and the next day, the, everything's really malleable and most of the stuff has come out. And that's what we have here. So out of a five quart saucepan, I have four quarts, and then there was about maybe half of this one, almost three quarters, that I have uh, drank a little bit of this morning. But the next thing is, take your peels, stick them in a blender, and blend them up into a fine mesh, mash, and that's what you see right here. Cover them in a little bit of sugar. Get your oven preheated to uh, 170, which is a, just a warming temperature. And we're gonna put it in there for quite a while. It's just gonna dry this out into a cake. The reason for the sugar is it's gonna do two things. Make it palatable and it's going to help preserve this for a longer period of time. And we're gonna dry this to where there's no moisture left. So once we've dried this where there's more, no moisture left, if we did it just with the peels, the integrity of the peel would make it really hard to eat. But because we've blended it down into such a fine mash, now you can take little bites really comfortably. And one of the things that's in here that most people don't know about is CBDs. So CBDs, uh, you may have heard of it. The medical marijuana that you uh, heard a lot about in the United States uh, becoming legal in all these different states. Uh, the medical marijuana, they're, they're going after CBDs. So these cannabinols and different types of uh, special functioning oils have receptors in our brains that can help us with uh, relieving our stress, taking away pain. So it blocks pain receptors, which is really cool. And it's really, if it's used correctly, it's very similar to Tylenol or any of those other name brand drugs for minor headaches and body aches and things like that. I think it works better for body aches than traditional Tylenol and I prefer to use it. And here's a good example right here. This is CBD in 150 milligrams by a company, I don't remember their name so it doesn't really matter. But each one of these little gummies, I think they have too much sugar, that's the only, my only problem with them, is gonna have around 150 milligrams of CBD. 
So about four of these, if I have a back problem, is gonna help you know alleviate that back problem. But you'll notice if you were to read into that this product, don't bother going in, it's by Pure Form Global in Los Angeles, and it's made entirely from citrus oils. So they use the peels, they extract the oils, and that's how they get this type of CBD. So it works pretty well. And I'm gonna dry these up. And it's gonna take four or five hours, and when they're dry, we are gonna have some crisp little treats that we can cut into nice little rows. Picture fruit leather, just a little bit more dry, and it's something you can store away, and if we get into a place, it's gonna have you know some citric acid in it, which is good. It's gonna have a few other things, but it's gonna have some of the stuff that we actually need, like absorbic acid. So there's gonna be high concentrations of absorbic acid. That's also gonna help preserve this product for longer periods of time. But when you need it, some of these things you have to have in your body or you're not gonna make it. So just like we know about all the people who were on the seas that died of scurvy, we don't want that to happen. So we need to supplement our diets with things like this. So check it out, see if it works for you. And it's a good way to use something that you're not gonna throw away. You don't wanna waste stuff. So if anything you can do, to use more of the things that we have and get some benefit from it, the better. So All right, so I was at work today and when I got back, what a lovely surprise. So we just sprinkled a little bit of sugar and you can see pretty dry but it, that's to make sure that it'll last a little while but it's kind of crunchy but it does fall apart okay and from being grapefruit peel and lemon peel you don't really notice so one of the reasons is the ascorbic acid in the peel is usually around three times more than the fruit inside that's pretty cool then on top of it, there's a ton of fiber. You can kind of feel it, that pulpiness, that's the fiber. And fiber is something that's really overlooked, but so healthy for you to have more fiber. But anyway, I think it uh, tastes pretty good. So it's kind of marmalade-ish, a little bit lighter on the sweet side of marmalade. And I don't think it tastes bad at all. But I also don't have much of a sense of taste anymore. Thank you, COVID. All right, well, you guys try it out, see if it works for you. I'm gonna put all this in a Ziploc, break it off in here, put it in a little Ziploc baggy, maybe take it camping or something, or just have it as a little treat once in a while. I like to torture myself, so maybe you do too. All right, we'll check in next time. We'll do something fun when we come around and uh, I'll let you guys know how this turns out. Put on all my armor, I got my sword to conquer. Hey. My God is so much larger, how about that? Oh my Lord, I just scored. Uh -huh. How about that? How about that? I can't lose with my uh -huh. sword.